Hi, my name is Nick and I'm the lead developer here at Brandastic. Today I'm going to discuss how to choose the best server for your business. A server is a machine where your files and data for your website are hosted. It is essentially a computer that serves your website to your users. A server's ability to perform is defined by its CPU, its RAM, and its storage resources. These are all provided by its hosting plan. There are a lot of different options when it comes to choosing a hosting package. There are shared hosting, managed hosting, virtual private servers, serverless environments, high availability environments, the list goes on and on. But most people get confused by all of these options, so today I'm going to focus on shared hosting, managed hosting, and virtual private servers, or VPS. Let's take a look at a few key factors that impact your decision. Number one, resources and performance. Shared and managed solutions store your website in a container that is specific to your website, but the resources are shared amongst many containers. If one of those websites is experiencing a heavy load from a large amount of traffic, it can impact your website's ability to load quickly. In terms of resources and performance, a VPS is the clear winner. With a VPS, your resources are exactly that yours. Because your site is not being affected by any other website's load, your site will be able to run a lot more smoothly. Number two, maintenance. On a shared or managed hosting plan, your hosting provider is the one responsible for applying updates and applying security patches. The difference is that managed hosting can apply some updates to your application automatically. So this would include your WordPress core, your plugins, and your theme. If configured correctly and properly maintained, a VPS can handle a lot of these updates on its own also. But this does require an expert who is experienced with the command line. Because a VPS configuration is more flexible, you have the ability to improve your caching or apply a free SSL. The difference here is that on a VPS, if something breaks or if something is misconfigured, it is your team's responsibility. Where on a shared host or a managed host, the hosting provider can usually step in and provide some assistance. Number three, cost. Because the shared and managed hosting providers are assuming more responsibility, these plans tend to cost more, but offer fewer resources. Shared hosting is typically between $8 and $25 a month, and managed hosting typically ranges between $35 and $200 plus a month. But keep in mind that these resources are shared. In our experience, a $10 to $20 a month VPS can easily handle the requests for a small to medium sized website without a hiccup. In summary, cost versus benefits can be misleading. Some people think that the cheaper option is enough, and sometimes it can be, but this can often lead to downtime and frustration. It's important to do your research when you're making this decision and know what you're getting when you choose your hosting plan. Hopefully this has been beneficial to you. Thanks for watching.